Fate of the Furious. Let's talk about it. Brass tags. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Tax, and this bitch. You already know. So I finally got a chance to watch this movie. I know I'm late, but some of you people ain't seen it wanted to know what I thought in this bitch. So, you know, the movie just pretty much starts off with Dom and his wife now. They're chilling. They're on their honeymoon. They're enjoying life, having lots of sex, drinking, partying, whatever. They're doing their thing, as you should on a honeymoon, in my opinion. It was a nice, refreshing surprise to have the beginning open up with a race that takes place. A race which feels like a bit of a throwback to the older Fast movies. And the race is very entertaining as well, because you're thinking to yourself, how the hell is he going to come out of this situation? He bumps into Charlie's Theron in this bitch. Charlie's Theron is looking A1 as well, you know that. Applause to you. So she's pretty much got him by the balls. Now, when I mean got him by the balls, do you know what I mean? I mean she's got him by both nuts and she's squeezing the shits. She's squeezing the fuck out of them bitches. So he pretty much has to be her bitch. Do you know what I'm saying? He has to be a bitch. He has to do certain things. So the team will reunite to stop Dom and to save the day. This movie is great. It's enjoyable fun. I love the dynamic between The Rock and Jason Statham. Them two are funny as hell. There is a part in the movie where Rock says something to Jason Statham and he starts laughing. And I bet you that was an outtake, but they kept it in there because it just felt so natural. And obviously you've got Tyrese and Ludacris's dynamic as well, which is always funny. Tyrese always funny as hell. Now, I was worried about this movie that I was going to miss Paul Walker. There is reference of him and he is mentioned in it. I think that's partly because they did such a good job of sending him off. With this movie, you're going to have to leave your brain at the door. There's one scene in this bitch. All I'm going to say is, and for those of you who watched it, you're already going to know. It involves a shitload of cars. And I left my brain at the door. I said, look, I'm going to see some shit which ain't going to make any motherfucking sense. I left my brain at the door. My brain came back. I saw those cars. I said, this, this is bullshit. That scene is stupid. But it's fast, eight. What are you going to do? That stupid scene. I'm sorry. I can't get over how stupid that scene was. The way things played out at the end was very smart, very clever. I like that they added that in a fast movie. I wasn't expecting it. It was almost James Bond-esque. Well, there's little things that happen throughout the movie which really do impact the end of it and I thought that was very smart made Dom look a lot smarter than I thought he was it's very James Bond-esque this movie in a lot of ways it feels like a spy movie Dwayne Johnson doesn't play Cobbs in this he doesn't play the character in this he plays the rock in this he is the rock in this movie he is not the character he was in the last one you could tell that for the most part they were having fun and you as the viewer are going to have a lot of fun watching this i really like this movie this movie's going to go from strength to strength and you know i can see more movies coming and i'm going to be watching and seeing how more ridiculous this shit gets in this bitch but in any case it's a good one people go watch it if you haven't already Alright guys, I hope you liked the review. If you guys watched it, tell me what you think about the movie. Try not to put any spoilers in the comments because, like, you know, I'm sure there's going to be some people who haven't seen that bitch. But tell me what you guys thought about the movie. I'm interested in your opinion. And maybe even rate them from the first movie to the eighth movie in terms of what your favourite ones are. That'd be very cool as well. Alright guys, take care. I'm going to catch you soon.